Just look at this chart on Pepe coin. Who's confused where a good entry would be? More importantly, who was part of this? Who bought the pump and who has lost 43.5% of their capital? If you put $1,000 in there, guys, you'd have just under $600 left. 43% of your capital just wiped like that. So how can you get an edge in this market? How do you know how deep the pullback is? I'm going to show you guys. Stay tuned. It's going to be an important one. Let's dive in. We're going to look at this chart together. We're going to analyze together. We're going to know by the end of this video exactly what levels are going to be good for Pepe coin, what levels that we need to hold. So what's the difference between this and my last video on Jasmine coin? Go and watch the last video on Jasmine coin because it's an important one and it goes hand in hand with this video because we're talking about structure resistance and structure support. That's where we're interested. Once you've broken previous resistance and it comes back to flip support, that's when we're interested. That's exactly what Pepe coin's done, but am I interested now or how am I playing this? First and foremost, I wanna know what levels are likely to be sticking points because the difference between this, Pepe and Jasmine coin was this. With Jasmine, we kept testing the high and we kept coming back and we kept testing the high and we kept testing the high. What does this do when you keep testing the high? When you keep knocking on the ceiling and you break through, it creates structure going forward, what was previous resistance, and that then flips support. So how far is this likely to pull back? Are we likely to get a reaction from the 0 0.0001090 level? I'm just gonna use 1090 going forward for this video because there's too many bloody zeros in there. So how am I playing this? Let's get the Fibonacci on there first and foremost. What levels? need to be sticking points on our Fibonacci retracement. 618, 618. So this is what we're looking for, the 618. And can we find any additional confluence at the 618? That's what we're gonna be doing now. We're gonna build in the 618. Can we find confluence in the 618? We're gonna get rid of the Fibonacci. Yes, we can. It was this previous structure resistance, and we would expect that to act as some support once we come back down. So how can we play this? First and foremost, I want to check how big this swing is in relation to the previous. This is like an ABC. A, let me get this up. A, B, C. So we're looking for an equal measured move here. We want an equal measured move. So what can we do? We can add a Fibonacci extension tool on there. So you're going to pull up the Fib extension and we're going from the high to this low, back to that swing high, the lower high, and then we're looking for an equal measured move. Can we find any confluence with our equal measured move? That's one to one, that's down here. So once this equal measured move is played out, that swing is gonna be relative to this swing here, up and then back down to test this level here. So what this allows us to do is create a zone, create a range. So what we're gonna do is gonna build in that range and this is gonna be our support range. That's going from the 618 to the one to one equal measured move. We can get rid of our Fibonacci, get rid of that. And then we've got a level. We've got a support base now. So how do we play this? How do we know when the balls are on our side? Trend line, simple trend line. What happens when the trend line's broken? What happens? Balls have gained momentum. So we're waiting for the break and we're waiting for the break. It's all right to put a small allocation of your capital, 25%, 20% of your capital down here waiting for the break and then what happens if you're wrong you're protecting yourself down here you've only got a small stop loss you're losing a small amount of your capital so preparation's part of this video preparation is key we're waiting for something to happen and by waiting for the break that gives us momentum on our side that allows us to put protections underneath the low underneath the low then we can come back add our capital got a higher low there and then you can make moves to the upside once the buyers are buying at this level once they've had confirmation of the break once they've had confirmation that momentum's on their side the buy orders will start piling in and when the buy orders start piling in the price goes up so we're waiting for a couple of things here it's still pulling back nicely we're waiting for that confirmation of the break we want ideally a pull back into our support zone which is sitting between 898 to the top side and 783 to the bottom side protecting ourselves under the low, and then we're away. So if you did find this video useful, guys, go check out my other videos. Don't forget, Jasmine goes hand in hand with this. That was my previous video. Go and watch that. Wait for the break, guys. Protect yourself. Use the appropriate risk management, and don't get wrecked in crypto. See you in the next one.